Hi, I'm Claire from Plant Passion and today I'm going to show you about pricking out seedlings. Uh, we're at the beginning of October um, and the seeds that we sowed at the beginning of September are now germinated uh, and ready to be pricked out. In fact, we've already been doing some. Uh, these are our Ami. Uh, they're a good, really good crop for us and we want them to be ready as soon as possible. So by sowing them in the autumn, they'll get stronger roots uh, and they'll be bigger plants for us quicker uh, to be flowering at the end of May and into June. Um, so Ami Major works really well as a hardy annual. Other plants that we've got here that are great as hardy annuals that are ready to be pricked out now. Scabious stellata, um, that's the ping pong scabious, so it has wonderful seed heads after its violet coloured flowers. This one is Cerinthi, and this is a really important crop for me because it flowers at the same time as the, the tulips. And this one takes slightly longer, this is Larkspur, um, and uh, this will be flowering at the beginning of July. Uh, it's also one that's really loved by slugs, so I have to be really careful with the seedlings. But first of all, I'm going to show you about Orlea. Now, Orlea seeds, uh, if you saw the last video, are large ones, uh, and so we just sow a few in each module. Um, these ones are now ready to be pricked out. They germinated about three or four days ago. Uh, they, I saw the first couple come, come up and now they're all starting to spring out. Um, and you don't want to leave um, seedlings for too long in the tray before you prick them out because if they get too big a root system, um, then they're not going to like being disturbed and put into a plug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my seed tray, my um, module tray, uh, with a mixture um, of the compost we use for the seeding uh, and some of our green waste compost. Um, but again, just like the seeds, I actually take the time to sieve this lot because these are little plants uh, and we want to make sure that the roots get the best start in life. So we're going to fill our, our module tray and we're going to make sure um, that there aren't any holes in the compost. So we're going to tap it down and probably put a little bit more on the top. Then we're going to use a, a dibber or in this case just a, another label to get some of these out and we want to be really careful because we don't want to be damaging the roots. And you can see here that they're lovely little plants and they're just starting to develop side roots. So we want to get these pricked out as quickly as possible. As I said, these only germinated about three or four days ago, and you certainly don't want them to get to the point where these roots are getting entangled with each other. At the moment, we're absolutely fine. So what we need to do, use a dibber, a label or a pencil, and make a hole in the middle of the compost and put in your little seedling and then make sure that the compost is pushed down and at this point you are trying to make sure that the compost is just below the surface of the seed tray so there's enough room for water it isn't piled up but so that there is enough to support the root so when you've pushed it down you don't want it to be going halfway down the module. So these are larkspur um, and they've only just germinated in the last day or two and they're actually going to have even less root than the Orlea did um, and that's good because actually they don't particularly like root disturbance so if we take them out when they're just a single shoot uh, then that won't be too traumatic for them uh, and these uh, I don't plant out until the spring because uh, the slugs like them um, so they need to be protected in the greenhouse. So I'm actually putting these 
uh, in a slightly bigger uh, module tray because they're going to be in these modules for longer, probably until April. And they'll be protected in the greenhouse, but again, hardy annual sowing in the autumn gives you a bigger root growth than if we did it in the spring.